Hey YouTube, welcome to Thursdays on Clearing Feminism. Sorry my video is running a little bit late. Um, I wanted to give the other videos a chance to stay up a little bit longer because they posted a little bit later. Um, I'm Des, uh, if you hadn't noticed that. Um, thanks for watching today. Today's uh, topic is, or this week's topic is um, the myths of feminism, myths about feminists, and um, a discussion on the male feminist. I'm going to try to keep this video short, but I have a lot to say, so let's get started. Um, I've been looking forward to this topic for a really long time because there's so many preconceptions that people have about feminists that are not necessarily true. So my first thing I want to talk about, I'm, I'm going to talk about feminist myths first. My first thing I want to talk about is really, really important, and that is that there's no set formula for being a feminist. You know, a lot of people believe that you have to... I mean, of course, there's a set of core values for the feminist movement that is defined, right? But, I mean, who are we as feminists to say um, that someone that doesn't agree with every single aspect of the feminist movement is not a feminist, right? Um, and I think that's really, really important for us to be accepting of, of people in our movement um, to work with us you know, as, as much as possible. I mean, we're not going to all agree on everything, but that's okay, right? So yeah, there's not one set formula for feminism. I mean, you could, you know, and, and if you believe you're a feminist, chances are you are. I mean, unless you hate women and you think that women should not have any rights. And then I probably don't think you should call yourself a feminist. Yeah. Um, so I think that's a really, really important thing to remember. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is the term feminazi. Um, I have a little bit of a different perspective on this one because I'm actually, um, I'm actually researching women in the Nazi era, so I wanted to bring a different perspective to this one. Um, the term feminazi is really funny because it basically puts a feminist and a Nazi together um, because you know they're. Feminists are supposedly hardcore and like crazy and vicious, right? Okay, so there's no such thing as a feminazi. I don't believe there is. Um, there's such thing as a feminine Nazi? Well, there was. There were women that participated in the Nazi movement who had nothing to do with feminism. They believed that women didn't deserve to write the, the right to vote. They, you know, they were all for supporting a very misogynist Nazi party um, supporting, you know, so I think that term is kind of ironic um, because it's like you're comparing a feminist to a feminine Nazi, essentially which is not at all any, it, it just doesn't work so, yeah, I, I don't know if, if that's interesting to you, but I think it's a different, you know, it's an interesting different perspective um, another thing I want to say is um not all feminists hate housewives. <laughs> um, I, I was thinking about this the other day, and I kind of am a housewife myself, per se. I mean, like, making it a home for my family is really important to me. And that's not to say that I'm not going to go out and be successful and have a career. Um, but if I chose to stay home and my partner wanted to support me, that would be okay. Um, and I think it's really important for the feminist movement to, to the, the participants in the feminist movement to understand is that there are so many different aspects of our movement and so many different people that have so many different um, needs and views. And if a, if, a, if a woman or a man is all for female empowerment and equality between the sexes, but they choose to stay home, um, and raise their children um, and make a home for their family, what's wrong with that? That doesn't mean that they're not feminists just because they're not out there conquering, you know, big business and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, another one I want to talk about is the feminists are angry. All right. Some feminists are angry, and I think that oftentimes we have every right to be angry. You know, we're still not making the same amount that men do. You know, we're, we're still not getting equal pay. We're still not getting 
equal employment opportunities. So, and you know, I still walk down the street and get whistled at. So I think I have every right to be angry. I'm not angry all the time, but I think that there's a, a certain amount of anger required in any movement for it to go anywhere. Um, just like with the GLBT movement, I mean, if there's not any anger at the fact that we are not equal citizens, um, then why would we be fighting? I mean, there, so there is a certain amount of anger that is necessary for a movement to work. But that doesn't mean that we're all angry women. I'm not an angry woman. I'm a very happy person. So, yeah. Alright, um, so those are my, like, four things I wanted to talk about with, like, feminist myths. Um, now I want to talk about men in the feminist movement. This is my perspective. I don't hate men. I love men. And I think they are vital. Absolutely vital to our movement. The fact of the matter is, is that men make up, like, what, 50% of the population of the world? So why would we want to fight against 50% of the population of the world? I think that would be completely counterproductive. And if we have people that are supporting us, then in, in, our, in our movement, in our, in our fight for equality, then why wouldn't we accept them, right? Um, there are some amazing, amazing men, men that call themselves feminists. You know, Kevin, he's one of the coolest guys I've ever met. And, you know, him participating in this channel is a really, really big deal. You know, him wearing that, this is what a feminist looks like t-shirt, that's a big deal, especially in Lubbock, where we're at. You know, um, because I think that any man that is willing to stand up and say, I'm a feminist, and honestly, put himself up for, for, you know, put himself up and make himself vulnerable to be made fun of and to be, for his masculinity to be, um, you know, questioned, deserves some props, you know, um, so I appreciate men being being willing to fight, help us fight for equality because it's not women wanting to take over the world. It's not about that. It's about equality between the sexes. And so I believe that I should have the same rights that Kevin has and Kevin believes the same thing, right? So I think that men are essential to our movement. I don't think that we could get where we are today without them. Um, so yeah I mean I mean I, I know that there are some feminists that hate men and that do not think that they should be participating in the movement and but I think they're crazy and sorry if that offends anyone but um, why would we ever deny help deny support that seems crazy to me you know why would we fight against 50% of the population when they want to help us. Not all 50% wants to help us. I mean, obviously there are people that think that women should stay in the home and should not have any rights and should, you know, that the husband or whatever, that men should basically have all the power. Um, but things are changing. So, you know, that's really important to think about. Um, I guess this video kind of went a little bit long, but I had a lot to say. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed speaking on this topic. It's it's one of my favorite topics so far. Please respond, comment, uh, make response videos. I love it all. Um, we love it all. We love, you know, tell your friends about our channel. We need more viewers. Um, our, this, this channel is really important, I think, um, to the queer feminist movement. Um, so, yeah. Alright, well, thanks for watching, and you guys have a wonderful day, and... Happy Thursday! See you later!